Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? If you are new to this channel, welcome. I also do Sidereal Astrology together, mm -hmm. excuse me, with Tarot so that we can see through the future. If you like readings based on the past, which is very redundant, you can watch all my old videos. <laughs> it's very redundant. Okay. Hence, I want to change how I read. And this is an upgrade to my readings. Sidereal is very basic. Okay. It's it's as basic as, as time. Okay. You look into the sky, that's where the planet is. I didn't change it. Okay. So that's what it is. So let's begin over here. Okay. And I also practice Jyotish. I talk a lot about of nonsense and a lot of wisdom in, in between it. It's like having a sandwich when you only want the meat in the middle or the veggies, okay, for people who's vegetarian, and the bread is actually the obstacle. <laughs> okay, I'm the obstacle, and you just want to get to the meat. Here we go. The meat cell. All right. So for my Virgos, the sun is in 10 degrees right now. You can ask in Google right now, where is sun, and you will see it. It is 10 degrees in Virgo. Okay. Which only means that it is giving strength okay, to what the Virgo is. What is Virgo? This is what uh, one of the questions that you will ask. Virgo is pure, okay? This is the virgin, okay? Virgo right now, it's in the nakshatra of Hasta, okay? The sun is in Hasta, which is moon ruled. Ever wonder why I always joke like you are an earth sign that acts like a water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, exactly. Then you're probably born during the nakshatra of moon, which is hasta. Mm -hmm. Now, let's not ask what's the next one, because I'm pretty sure the next one is harsh, which is, I think, Mars ruled, which is chitra. So there we go. You're a Virgo that acts like Mars. I don't need anyone. I can do everything by myself, and I'm okay. Thank you. And I just want to get things done the way I want it, one way, and this is it. Because Mars just wants to get things done and it just is a driven kind of, uh, you know, energy. It's passion, right? Now, I didn't discuss the other degrees of, of Virgo. I know there's Hasta, Chitra. Chitra is the last one. What's the first one then? Oh, it coming from Leo. Is it Utara? Falguni? Oh, the one that sleeps around, huh? <laughs> the feet of the bed, isn't it not? The hammock? Mm-hmm. It is known, well, it lounges, it lounges. <laughs> okay, let's just say it lounges. So not that you sleep around. It means like, you know, it is the last, uh, if it's the last, okay? I'm, I don't I don't have my glasses. So I'm a reader who cannot see. <laughs> so it only means that you're a Virgo. Mm -hmm. I'm explaining this so you will know what kind of Virgo you are. Because mm -hmm. there's three kinds. It's an akshatra. Um, so if it is Uttara Falguni, if I'm not mistaken, let me just, I, I want to give you... Um, Virgo Nakshatra. Give me a second, guys. And if you don't like this, then you can just move along and watch Tarot forever and never really know who you are. Thank you, Sal, for being critical. <laughs> Rahu isn't critical, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Which means, let me see, Mriga Ardra, alrighty, Magha. Yep, Uttara Falguni. Yep, Uttara Falguni. Mm -hmm. It is the legs of the bed. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. So it is that, and uh, that's why it is, uh, you know, if you're a Virgo who likes just to do everything in bed, you know, work in bed, eat in bed, or, you, you know, because it is symbolizing the feet of the bed. Mm -hmm. Utara is the end. Okay. So this can be you also. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you're lazy, but it can. Let's just say Mars is not a good place and Saturn is not a good place, and the person can be lazy. At times and this is why people make a ridicule of astrology how come I'm a Virgo and I'm not like that because you're not just a Virgo we haven't even discussed your Pada it goes precise it goes to the degree so stop with your Sun sign okay mm hmm so here we go let's begin you got school <laughs> why you got school Virgo so early in the morning now I want to teach the Virgo so that if you know your nakshatra, you know that you can manifest through the deity of the nakshatra. And it can help you. The planet, the lord of your nakshatra, which is, uh, it's called uh, Janma. Okay? Janma Lagna. Or Janma, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So you're a Virgo. Yes, you will be blessed by Mercury. Okay? But the, the nakshatra lord, which is moon, Mars. I forgot who's the lord of Otara Falguni. Sun? Okay. Sun is the lord of Otara Falguni. So if you work with that nakshatra, mm -hmm, um, so with Mars, with moon, or sun, that will even help you even more, not just Mercury. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why Virgos are so good looking also. If you are born in moon, darling, you are very, very attractive. If you have placements in uh, in uh, Chitra, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, and sorry, in Hasta. In Chitra, I doubt. Okay. <laughs> if you're a man, then yes, it's good for you. You know, because you want that Mars energy. Mm -hmm. mm. So here we go. Let's begin. Five of Swords, I guess you're a Martian. <laughs> <laughs> so with your lagna lord in <laughs> retrograde first day for virgos is i just want to rip people apart sal <laughs> i just want to give them a piece all right oh and if you're annoyed with astrology when i talk darling the world has a lot of youtubers go for other youtubers don't go for me okay save yourself some time mm -hmm. Um, five of swords here um, of course you know communication is very popular in astrology when mercury is in retrograde fights are easy okay uh, to manifest it depends though not everybody's affected but clearly you are mm -hmm. because it's intense not that mercury gives us arguments and fight the karma is closer to the planet when the planets are retrograde it's far from the sun near earth if it's near earth in its orbit then it's intense. It's bringing more energy than ever. Mm. So if there's more communication coming in, then more chances of miscommunication. Mm. So the technique here is to slow the communication, not to avoid the communication. You avoid the communication, it will still manifest again. The planet always just goes in circles in orbit. So there is no going around. There, I mean, there's no going, uh, you know, if you don't, you can't skip it. Mm -hmm. So deal with it now, but a little bit slower with the Five of Swords. Three of Pentacles can be work-related. If sun is in Virgo, then of course, um, you know, a lot of issues in our work right now. Everything. And Mercury is business, right? Mercury is emails, technology, all these things. So it may be you accidentally send an email to someone. <laughs> As per my last email, okay? <laughs> Looking forward for your response. Yeah. Send it on a Friday at 4.50 and then you expect them to reply on Monday first thing in the morning. Yeah. So this is what I'm what I'm talking about. Easily mis you know, miscommunication. Now, there is someone that you are talking to right now, Three of Pentacles, and a lot of things will be discussed. But the main energy here until mid-October is miscommunication. So be careful. Okay. Don't avoid it. Slow it down. Listen before you speak. Queen of Swords. I'm done listening, Sal. Queen of Swords is here. She cuts people off. Venus is in Libra. 25 degrees. Okay? So you're telling this person, I'm done listening. Saturn retrograde in Capricorn. For others, you will also quit your job during this retrograde. Now, it's up to you, okay? I mean, it's up to you. It's your job, not my job, okay? <laughs> and we don't have an opening right now. But it's just showing here that you are ending a karmic cycle with the world. These are a very auspicious time for us to end things before Scorpio season. When it's Scorpio season, it is a transformation. That's November 17 to December 17. No, I said it right. That's Scorpio season. So if you're wrapping up a karma, Virgo, this is the time. Okay, you could be moving, relocating, traveling. That's the world. Wrap up that karma and start a new life. New country, new home is right here. Because all the plan all the other planets will go direct soon. Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, someone is refusing to talk to you and has been avoiding you. And your only option now is just to cut them off and not to give a dime. Queen of Pentacles here. Now, this person is playing it with you where they will block you also. So an eye for an eye with this person. If you ignore them, they will ignore you too. Six of Swords, right here. 
this person has a little bit of an ego right here. I mean, both of you have. With the five swords, that's, that's the ego right there. There is no cups. There is no love here. There's more right now tension in the relationship. Nine of Pentacles here. This person will choose to be single also. Because if you're coming to them strong, they're going to come to you very strong also. Just like their ex cologne and their old spies. Mm -hmm. Or their Aspen. So link down there in the description box below. We'll see more further about the situation as the two of you gets into a tension building up. If you want to know more about your own sign, your own placement, and how it's manifesting in your life, this is a perfect opportunity for you as everything is now available on our website. Link down there in the description box below, Virgo. This was supposed to be short and sweet. It became longer than usual. Well, sometimes I get like that. Okay, I don't know when to stop anyway. So, a lot of Mars here. Now you know. Okay. So, more than Mars. A lot of K2. Okay. Link down there in the description box below. And we'll see more about this reading. Titles will never resonate. Don't try to make it resonate until you've seen the whole reading. Because the title will manifest after I made the whole reading. That's how it is. Alright? Thank you very much guys for watching. Bye.